Hello, Long Branch, public school family. So next week, get this, next week we enter the last week of October, which means Halloween is almost here, and that's always a marker. Like, we've got to get to Halloween and things will work out. Well, Halloween's right around the corner. In fact, next weekend, we're going to have those little superheroes and dinosaurs, Disney characters, LOL dolls, Tiger Kings and Tiger Queens, uh, even those medieval bards uh, parading down the street. What you should know this is that uh, the CDC has qualified trick-or-treating as a high-risk activity. And all that really means is this, that we've got to be really creative this year and flexible, so we're promoting um, safe social distancing while trick-or-treating. And since it's outside, uh, they've deemed it fairly safe, but it is still qualified as high-risk. So there are some helpful tips for you and your families if you're participating in this type of activity that you can find online. But some of that uh, take, uh, really looks like what we're doing at some of our schools in terms of our food service distribution. It's just setting up individual bags where people can come up or individual pieces of candy, come up, grab, and go. A pretty simple process that we've done. And I, now I've seen people, as I'm researching, I've gotten really creative with it. I've seen these long candy shoots, like a PVC pipe decorated, where they're shooting candy down into the bags of trick-or-treaters. Now that's fun. Or a candy slide, where they're sliding the candy down so the kids can get it, so they can remain six feet away. Now we want our trick-or-treaters to have fun if they're out there, and then we want them to be safe. So for the adults out there, you might want to set up shop outside, of course, if the weather's permitting. Set up a little table and, and a chair and set up some individual treats for kids so you don't have to keep open the door. And it's not forcing all the children to bunch up at a door and knock and be close to uh, people opening it, okay? So we wanna make sure that our children are having uh, fun but also that they're very safe. And in order to be safe, uh, the city of Long Branch officials have put a curfew in place starting on October 29th and running all the way through November 1st. So by 8 p.m. each evening, starting October 29th, all, everybody has to be inside until 6 a.m. So that's uh, for, our, for our teens out there. That's mischief night and Halloween. You've got to be inside the day before that and the day after that, okay? Now next week, uh, I'm shifting gears here, next week is an exciting week for us. We have this modified learning schedule going on. Uh, October 26th marks the date that a full grade level will enter each building, and we are super excited about that. Now listen, I know, I, I, I'm, I can certify this, that our, our amazing teachers, our dedicated school administrators, and our outstanding support staff are ready for our children. And to the staff out there, I know how much energy and time you've put in to making sure everything is right next week. And I certainly appreciate, I appreciate that. I appreciate you uh, for doing that because it's not just this week. It's, it's been weeks and months to come. So next week, uh, we feel there's going to be a, a bit of magic in our schools, and we're excited about it. For those who feel like this is going to be different, it is going to be different. It's going to be different. It'll be progress. And remember, change is good. So just stick with this, uh, and we're going to have a great time making sure that everybody's safe, responsible, and learning in schools. Now, to those of you who uh, were concerned about uh, coronavirus in our community and our health data, we've set up a dashboard right on our website that gives us a daily count of exactly who's symptomatic, uh, who's been quarantined, who's uh, lab-confirmed positive. And then we set up protocols in place to make sure that if you a child or a classroom was in a close contact to somebody positive that we immediately notify you uh, in, in consultation with the local health department. And we give you the steps to keep yourself safe. And typically, and unfortunately, it is a 14-day quarantine period. So next week, uh, we have the children coming in. We're excited. And then the following week, you all know this is Election Day. So if you haven't voted already, uh, don't wait. Well, you know, let your voice be heard. Vote early. Election Day is November 3rd uh, and is uh, some important topics on the ballot and important decisions to be made. So make sure you exercise your voice. Get out there. To all of our friends out there from Long Branch, just remember, uh, stay healthy, everybody. Be well and remain Long Branch strong.